Hey Biscuiteers, Fuchsia here. So, in the Omen of Storms announcement stream, Yuito Kimura, better known as KMR, a producer in side games, did a Q&A about Shadowverse issues, including hints to the future of Shadowverse and reasonings to things like leaders. I thought that there were some interesting tidbits there that's worth discussing. I won't talk about every single thing here, so if you're interested in the full translated Q&A, the link is in the description. Big shout out to Nova Starlight for providing that. Check out their Twitch, it's very cool. Now, I'm going to split these interesting Q&As into four categories. Leaders, Game Modes, Balance, and Miscellany. Let's start with Leaders. Now, quite recently, we've been getting non-popularity poll winners as card pack leaders, leading to much hoping and coping, with one of the sticking points being that we have no idea how these leaders are chosen. Well, we still don't know 100% how they do it, but they did explain that the number of votes that the character has plays into it. Of course, because they say there's other factors, we can't be sure, but this means that especially close popularity polls might potentially bring out more than one leader. Some people might have figured that before, but it's nice to know for sure now that that's said by KMR himself. Another thing people were unsure of about leaders were story leaders. Some leaders in the story mode were fully animated and even usable, but are unusable outside the story mode. Obviously, this is a bit of a waste since side games has that leader already, and many people want to play them outside of the story mode, even if they don't win the popularity polls, right? To much hopium, they did answer that these characters, examples being Tetra and Drak, would be available in the future, either as event rewards or in the in-game store. This is great news, and it's nice to hear about it directly outside of speculation. The prospect of Tetra being available in particular, I'm really looking forward to, given her two sisters already have leaders. The next category is in-game modes. After incorporating game modes like quest mode and open 6, you kinda wonder if they'll implement more in the future. They did get asked about this, and they confirmed that they are moving to work on stuff. Whether these are permanent game modes like open 6, occasional ones like quest mode, or special types of GPs remains to be seen. That said, it's nice to know they're working on it. Speaking of those special GP formats, they did get asked if they were going to make these formats permanently available. Unfortunately, the answer was a resounding no. At least, not for now. It seems they're keeping them as special occasions for GPs, which to me sounds quite reasonable since it does add some variety to GPs. Next, let's look at answers they gave about balancing. One question was about the considerations of whether they buff or nerf cards. They gave an interesting answer, that they prioritize buffing cards. This is very interesting, because they haven't started buffing cards until recent years. Obviously, you can put your tinfoil hat on and just say they want to avoid nerfs because nerfs give full vials, but given the benefit of the doubt, I can see how buffs can be more beneficial. For cards rotating to unlimited for example, buffing them makes loads of sense so that they can be viable there. Buffing certain cards can also enable them to target specific decks to be stronger and match or even counter their oppressive decks. The next question is about how far do they look back and forward when designing new card effects. Their answer was quite typical, they mostly prioritize rotation. I see this as quite a pragmatic choice, given that the amount of cards in Unlimited is staggeringly large and rotation status as the main format. Still, I hope they keep an eye on Unlimited at least. And the recent limitation to Acceleradium gives me hope, but we'll see. Finally, let's look at some miscellaneous but quite fun answers. First of all, a question was asked about if leaders will get stories. They actually answered that they are considering making stories for these cards as well as what they described characters only featuring as cards. I assume they're referring to original characters, such as characters featured in their recent announced expansion, Omen of Storms. This is quite exciting in my opinion, as some of these characters, like the Omens, have had amazing character designs but did not have too much substance due to a lack of lore and story. Lastly, the most important question and answer. What about the 5 gold curse? Huzzah! They answered that they're considering adjustments to solve it. This is probably the most exciting news of them all, and I think you all will agree. So overall, those were what I thought. 
was the most interesting bits of the Q&A, and I'm really excited by some of these. Thank you again for Nova Starlight for the translation. Check them out below on Twitch in the description, and um, tell me what you think about these news and questions and answers. Comment down below what you think, like what do you think about the future of Shadowverse, and um, what questions do you think they should have answered, and everything down below. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, give me a sub. And like always, have a great day.